everybody, Ryan Melge with Golf News Net here to give you a little bit of a tutorial on the FlightScope Mevo. So many of you have checked out some of our videos over time about the Mevo and we get a lot of questions about them. How good is it? How has it improved? What's the firmware like? And we just have recently produced a, an updated review on the Mevo in November 2017. So we, we have good feedback about it. We feel like moving forward, it's a product you can believe in and be interested in. Uh, especially if you're just looking for kind of rudimentary data about your golf performance, uh, your swing, ball speed, spin with metallic stickers, and you kind of get a general sense of how high your ball goes and how far it goes, uh, getting a baseline relative to other launch monitors that maybe you've used in the past and trust and feel are pretty accurate. But one component of this that I think is absolutely important is having the metallic stickers. This is what enables you to get the spin measurement, and I think it actually improves the overall measurement that you get in the product, just by a little bit, uh, but especially on the spin rate. Otherwise, you're going to get wildly different spin rates because, effectively, you're trying to get a radar to figure out how this thing flies in the air, and this isn't the same kind of quad Doppler system that's available now for $25,000. So it's limited ability to figure out what this thing's doing spin-wise, it can figure out movement, but the spin's a little bit difficult. So using these metallic stickers helps dramatically make that possible. And so it's pretty easy to use. Uh, these stickers are available, 1,000 of them for $25. So use one per ball. And all you have to do to make it work is take a sticker off your rack. And they come, some come with the device. So once you get started, uh, you're not necessarily like right behind the eight ball and have no stickers to work with. They're like, ah, we got you. They tell you up front, you should buy the stickers. So what you have to do is you take one of the stickers off the rack, put it on the ball. It doesn't matter where on the ball it goes. They, they don't have like a recommendation point. They kind of see how it goes on there like that. And you only need one. You don't need two or three and you'll load it up with stickers, just the one. And then what you do is you make sure you tee up the ball or you place the ball on the driving range with the sticker facing towards your target. So if the Mevo is back here and it's supposed to be back about four feet from where you're hitting, first so you can swing and second so it can pick up the golf ball. So if it's back here and it's pointing toward the camera lens, then you want to make sure that this metallic sticker is also pointing to the camera lens. Otherwise, if it goes like that, it might have a hard time picking it up grows like that. Obviously, if you hit it really squirrely, if you hit a, a dead shank or something like that, first of all, you don't want to measure that, but second, it's going to it's gonna struggle to pick it up. But if you had a normal golf shot that's relatively online, I mean, not, not a total spray and not a, a dribbler, it's going to pick it up and it's going to give you a decent spin measurement. That has been dramatic improvement for me, being able to use that, uh, being able to use the stickers. Again, they're easy to use, they're 1,000 for 25. How many balls are you going to hit in a session? Uh, the only downside is if you go to a public range or just any kind of range uh, where you're not going to get the golf ball back, that means obviously you're not going to get the sticker back. But at $25 for 1000 with how often you're likely to use the Mevo, unless you are just a range rat nerd uh, who uses them all the time, that is plenty for se at least several months of the season, if not an entire season. And even if you had to get another 1000 for the season, it's still 50 bucks and if you're that hardcore about it and measuring and testing and, and doing all that stuff all the time for your personal game, it's worth it. It's a $50 investment. It's worth it. So, uh, Flight Scope Mevo, big fan. Uh, it's got a lot of promise. It also has a lot of good foundation to it right now. And as the firmware improves, it will continue to get better. You make that $500 investment. Make sure you make the $25 investment that goes with it. Make it $525. Get those stickers. Use them on your golf ball, and you will get better readings from your Flight Scope Mevo. Reach out to me on social media. I'm on Twitter, at Ryan Ballengee, R-Y-A-N-B-A-L-L-E-N-G-E-E. -E -E. Make sure to like and subscribe. All that jazz that everyone else on YouTube tells you. And we will talk to you next time.